Well, good morning, crafters. My name is Juanette, and I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator here in the United States. Today's video tutorial is featuring a card that I call the Panel Screen Fold Card. One of the cards is an Easter card I made for my daughter, and the other one is a birthday card for a coworker. So you're going to start out with a piece of seven and a half by eight and seven eighths piece of thick whisper white cardstock. This is your base, and you're going to score on the short side at three and three fourths. Then you're going to fold and burnish that. Then you will need two pieces of eight and five eighths by three and a half inches of solid colored cardstock. I used Highland Heather here. And what you will want to do is emboss one of those pieces for the front of the card to give it some texture. And then the other one will go inside the card. Then you will need three pieces of again thick whisper white cardstock that is eight and one fourth by three and a half. You will score along the short side at at a half an inch and you will fold and burnish it both ways because this is going to be your panels that you will fold back and forth. Use your bone folder to make a nice crisp crease on all three of those. On my dies, the smallest one is number one, and then they go out to the larger one, which is number six, which would be the sixth one. Then to make the panels themselves, I use the number five Stitch So Sweetly die for the legs, and I laid it inside the bottom of that panel. And the inside width is about two and one eighth inches. You can use any rectangular die that you want. And as you can see, as I pull it out, it gives me some legs. Then when I fold over the tab there, which will be hid hidden, it looks like a screen. And I wedge both the top and the bottom of those tabs. Then to align the next screen, I just lay the one that I've just cut on top of the one that needs to be cut, lining them up perfectly. Then I lay the rectangle die over the top of it, and it will just kind of wedge into that area, then pull off the top one that has already been cut and tape down the new one and run it through your die cutting machine. And you will do this on all three of your panels. I used the delightful detailed laser cut paper and as I look at this paper and, and uh, pick it up, you can see that it kind of gets caught on each other. It's absolutely stunning uh, paper. However, I found it a little bit difficult to work with. And so what I did is I took A total of four sheets, applied glue first just tapping it to the top of the paper, laid the top one over it, aligning it as best as I could, then 
lifted up the top one, came down with a little bit more glue. I felt it made it easier to be able to do it in sections as opposed to all at once. And I used a fine tip glue applicator there. And I did that a, four, a total of four layers, which made it quite sturdy and much easier to work with. It's absolutely beautiful paper. Then I trimmed off the outer edge because as I lay it in the panel, I just want the floral part to be seen. So like I said, I cut off each of those edges and because they're all glued together, they stayed together. And then now what you're going to do is cut three, seven and one fourth by two and three fourths panels. Again, moving that, removing that outer edge. There's my first panel there. my second and my third. And then you will have a little bit left over which you will use to piece some of the areas. So I took my sponge daubers and my Highland Heather ink pad and I wanted to add a little bit of color. I am using the white side of these panels. There is also a a very vanilla side, but I wanted the white side and I'm applying just a little bit of ink to the inside of each floral area. Just dabbing it on here and there. And when I had completed all three of them, then I brought in my second color, which I believe is going to be, before I say it, let me look. Yes, pear pizzazz. And I sponge daubed a little bit of that color on the leaf areas. And I did leave, leave some white in certain areas just so that it wouldn't look um, completely all colored. It would actually be three colors with the white, the Highland Heather, and the Pear Pizzazz. Then I took one of my favorite products and added it to alcohol, my white shimmer paint. It's just a few drops and then sprayed it over the top of those panels, which gave it some really nice shine. And you can see as I tilt it into the camera there, it really is pretty. Now I have my three panels there and what you're going to do is glue them together. But we only need two of them to have tabs. So take one of those panels, lay that score mark in the track of your trimmer, and completely trim off 
that tab. And I wanted to round off my corners, so I brought in my detailed trio punch. And just lined it up inside at the top of each corner and rounded those off. So it's a little bit more difficult on that one that has the tab. And so then I came in with my paper snips and I just trimmed off the tab. And it really doesn't matter uh, specifically how much you trim off because that is go going to be hidden. And do you see how that pretty floral pattern is going to fit on top of those screens? So the first one I actually glued down with liquid glue and I realized that was going to take a really long time. So with the second and third one, I sprayed liquid adhesive on it and it made it much easier for attaching it to my panels. And do you see how there is a little bit of white space up toward the top? That's no problem because that one piece that was left over, we can piecemeal a few sections in there to make it look more complete. And this is where you can bring in a little bit of your liquid glue just lay whatever section you want on top of your screen, glue it down, and then all you have to do is flip it over and trim off the excess. <clears throat> Excuse me, I had a little frog in my throat there. And I did that in just a couple of the areas there. So then use either a strong liquid glue, and for this I use my Beacons 3-in-1 glue, or you can use tear and tape, and apply it to the top section of one of those screens, then lay the second screen over the top, aligning the bottom little feet area, and as you can see, I end up pulling up that right-handed side one up a little bit so that it aligned up perfectly. Then apply liquid glue onto your second screen and lay that final one over the top of it. In one of the pictures at the beginning of the video, I did a five panel card for a coworker whose name is Penny, and I used our uh, alphabet dies to spell out her name. But this one here is only a three panel card. Then I'm just attaching my inside panel, the Highland Heather, into the inside of the card.
leaving a nice border all around. Now, this is a retired set, but I could not believe when I found this scripture, which is one that I quoted in last week's video. How appropriate is this scripture for what we're going through right now? So what I did is I used our Highland Heather ink pad and stamped it on some Whisper White cardstock. Applying good pressure and I used my Stamparatus so that I could do a couple of inkings and it would align well. I dried it off just a little bit because then I'm going to bring in my Versamark ink because I want to heat emboss with clear embossing powder over it. So take your embossing buddy, tap on the area that you want to put your Versamark ink and that is so that none of the embossing powder goes where it's not supposed to. Apply your Versamark ink and re-stamp your sentiment and this is clear embossing powder apply it over the top of that stamped image tap off the excess and then heat emboss it while it melts. Then I took our Stitch So Sweetly dies and one of the rectangular ones and cut out that sentiment. Then from our Saline Home stamp set, let hope be the anchor in life's, through the storms of life. And also using that die set, cut out that sentiment. I applied dimensionals to the back of it and that is going to be on the top screen or panel. And I just aligned it up toward the top there. Then I took some of our trio colored ribbon which is a violet color, Highland Heather, and Gorgeous Grape. I wish I had cut a little bit longer piece of ribbon because it was a little finicky to tie the bow, but I was able to manage it. And all I did was adhere it to the back of those three panels using scotch tape. And that is about center of those panels. Then the top panel, I ran it through our Scripty 3D embossing folder to give it a little bit of texture. And then I glue it to the front of our card base. Again, using my 3-in-1 liquid glue which does give a lot of stability to the card. And 
and then now I'm going to glue the three panels to the front of the card and again use liquid glue or your tear and tape. Just center it so that you have a nice border all around the card. And hold it in place until that glue really adheres well. Now my sentiment, I did apply it to that third panel. However, I wish I would have applied it to the inside of the card, but I had already glued it down when I realized that I would rather have it on the inside of the card. But it's still, it's a beautiful card. There was still a couple of areas that needed some glue. And then I also took some of our pearls uh, embellishments and I added them to the inside of the flowers here and there. And this is the inside of the card eight and a fourth by three and a fourth. This is where, where you will write your um, note to your recipient. And I already gave this card to a, a dear friend and neighbor. Then I just tied the bow, which I'm not very good at, but uh, <laughs> I was able to do it. It did take a little bit of time. And then you'll just trim off your edges. If anybody needs any of these supplies that I'm using today, please go to my website, onettehewitt.stampingup.net, and I would be happy to help you out with anything that you might need. A lot of us are staying home and have a lot of time on our hands, and paper crafting takes your mind off of what's going in, on in the world and also helps you to be able to make something to brighten somebody else's day. Here's the card that I made for my daughter for Easter. I used a different screen or panel for that and I think that one also came out beautiful. That was balmy blue and so saffron colors. And then I also took a piece of that leftover, um, what's it called? The delightful detailed laser cut paper, sorry, and put it on the front of the envelope. Please stay safe, everyone. Stay indoors and my blessings to you.